Hello and welcome to azuremark.com. This is Azure Private Link including private endpoint and private link service explained in plain English with the story and a step-by-step -step demo on how to configure it in less than 5 minutes for each of the topics. Secret Recipes was a business which provided secret age-old recipes to their customers by charging a premium subscription using their site www.secretrecipes.com. Let's take a behind the scenes look at how the technology is implemented. The base infrastructure consists of a virtual network which is connected to the Secret Recipes headquarters using ExpressRoute. The virtual network consists of a subnet where we have the web server for the website www.secretrecipes.com. This web server has a private IP address of 10.0.0.4. The backend storage for this website is hosted on an Azure blob storage. In this case, we know that the VM has a private IP of 10.0.0.4 and the Azure blob storage does not. We sold the secure network access from the virtual network to the blob storage in our previous video where we explained virtual network service endpoints. If you haven't already, please do check out the video by clicking on the link above. However, the original chef who was on-prem had a private IP of 10.2.0.4 and wanted a mechanism to access the blob storage account. Well, she could access the blob storage from her PC on-premises using the express route circuit through the Microsoft peering routing domain. But the blob storage account still had a public IP and the security team was not happy about it. And the rules dictate that they would not be opening any public IPs access on their firewall. How do we solve this? Well, we can solve this by using Azure Private Link. In order to access a platform as a service resource securely using Private Link, let's take a look at what is required. Firstly, you would need to create a private endpoint inside your virtual network. It's a NIC card inside your private IP space. In this case, the IP is going to be 10.0.0.5. Next thing we want to do is create a private link resource, that is our storage account. We then connect the private link resource to our private endpoints using private link. This way, the traffic intended to the storage account always remains in the private IP space and does not need any public endpoints whatsoever in order to access it from on-prem or the Azure Virtual Network. Great. The next concern from the security team is data exfiltration. Or in other words, can anyone from the Secret Recipes network use this private endpoint to leak confidential data to other storage accounts? Well, the answer is no, and that's the differentiator for Azure Private Link. You would only tie specific chosen Azure resources to this private endpoint. Great. Here is a list of resources that currently work with Private Link, and the list is constantly growing. Let's take a look at how you would create this from the Azure portal. This is the Secret Recipes resource group. This is where I have the virtual machine, virtual network, and the blob storage. What we want to do is enable private endpoint for this particular storage account. In order to do that, let's look for private link service. Click on private endpoint and then choose add. Let's click the subscription resource group and give it a name. We'll choose the region and the resource. This is where we choose the private link resource for which we want the private endpoint for. In this case, it's going to be storage. I then pick my secret recipes blob storage account and choose blob. Once I click next, I choose the virtual network and the subnet where I want this private endpoint to be residing in. I'm going to leave the private DNS zone enabled to yes. This helps in resolving the URL of the storage account to a private IP from my Azure virtual network. Great. The private endpoint is now created. If I look through the properties, I see that the private endpoint is created in my secret recipes virtual network and my subnet. I also see a corresponding NIC card created, which is what provides the private IP. And below, I see my private DNS zone entry 
resolving to a private IP from within my virtual network. If you are trying to access this from on-premise, you would want to have a corresponding DNS entry pointing to the private IP for the storage account. The Secret Recipes business was doing really well. They come across another California-based startup called Easy Vegan Foods, which could further boost their business. Secret Recipes decided to acquire this company to have access to the awesome vegan recipes. The cool thing was Easy Vegan Foods was also hosted in an Azure virtual network which hosted their web server with the private IP address of 10.0.0.4. They exposed their site www.easyveganfood using a public IP on a standard load balancer. This way, anyone including Secret Recipes could access their site. But we all know Secret Recipes security rules, don't we? No public IPs. Well. So the IT team considered having a virtual network peering between both of these virtual networks since they were both in Azure. But obviously that wouldn't work because of the overlapping IP addresses. So how do we solve this? Let's explore private link service. In order to get started, first let's create a standard load balancer with a private IP address of 10.0.0.6. We will then create a private link service over this standard load balancer for consumption from the secret recipe subscription. We create the private link service so that we can expose the service from Easy Vegan Foods to be later consumed by secret recipes virtual network. While creating the service, we have the option of limiting the exposure of the Easy Vegan Foods service by either using role based access control, subscription name or make it available to anyone with the alias for the service. Now, going back to the source secret recipes virtual network, we create a private endpoint which has an IP address of 10.0.0.10. Remember, this IP comes from the secret recipes virtual network and not from the easy vegan foods virtual network. Using this private endpoint, we connect to the private link service provided by the easy vegan foods virtual networks. We have now made available the website www.easyveganfoods accessible from the Secret Recipes virtual network privately without traversing the public internet and without having a virtual network peering between the virtual network. How cool is that? Well, let's take a look at how we implement this from the Azure portal. We are now logged in to the Easy Vegan Foods Azure subscription. We see the web server the storage account and the NIC card. What we want to do is create a standard load balancer for the web server. We click on load balancer, choose the resource group, give it a name, choose the type as standard and make it internal because we don't want a public IP. You also want to choose where you'll have this private IP of the load balancer residing. I'm going to choose the web subnet and give it a static IP of 10.0.0.6. Let's create it. The first thing we want to do is add the web server VM to the backend pool of the standard load balancer. We also want to ensure you have the front end IP configurations, health probes and the load balancing rules in place. Now that all are in place, let's go to the private link service. Click on expose your own service so that others can connect to it. Click on start, choose the resource group, give it a name and the region. Let's click on outbound settings. I want to choose my load balancer, which was created. That is SLB hyphen web vegan. I also want to have the source NAT subnet chosen. In this case, I want those IPs to be coming from my web subnet. I'm going to leave everything else as default. If I click on next, here is where I have the option of restricting the exposure of my service to the others. I can either choose role based access control based on a user ID or restricted by subscriptions or give anyone access that has alias of my service. I'm going to choose subscription in this case and add the secret recipe subscription here and make it auto approve. I want to click on the vegan private link service. I want to copy this alias. And now we'll switch over to the secret recipes Azure subscription. I click on start under build a private link connection to a service. I choose the subscription resource group, give it a name. I then click on next. Here I want to choose connect to an Azure resource by resource ID or alias. 
and enter in the alias from my vegan food subscription. I enter comments to approve, although if you remember, we had chosen it for auto approve for this subscription. This is where I select the IP address of our secret recipes virtual network where we want the private endpoint to be residing in. You click create. The deployment is now complete. If I click on go to resource, I see that the connection status is approved because I chose to auto approve. And I now have a private IP from my secret recipes vnet from which I can access the easy vegan food website without having a public IP or a virtual network peering. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again in the next video.